Hi again! Hi. Right, I'm making myself some lunch. Very nice. That's pasta cooking and that's some pancetta, which is a particular sort of smoked bacon. Alright, don't quote me on this. But it's like bacon. And uh, mixed up with some scrambled egg. And that makes a carbonara overall. Right. That's my lunch in ooh, four minutes. Um, right, so I said in the last blog that March was a really bad month. Well, now we're in April. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, I think. Some of you might know about this, some of you might not, some of you might think I'm slightly crazy at this point. What's the difference there? No change. Um, between the 25th of December and the 6th of January, um, in my family there's this tradition that we write down the dreams we had. And because the there are 12 nights. Each night represents a month of the coming year. Uh, yeah, now you think I'm weird. No, I'm serious. This is a rather interesting thing because it works for mum every, every year. Um, and mine for the fourth night, therefore April, was to do with a car. I was driving my car, my lovely MG ZR, and this really strange thing happened. No matter what gear I put it in, it should have gone third. Third, it was really slow. I put it back down in second, and then, and it was still as if it was held back, as if I was pushing the brakes at the same time as the accelerator, or as if the gears had died or the engine had melted down or whatever anyway it was something to do with the car and actually it's been a rather interesting start to April because um, I'm planning on getting my racing license yeah uh, that's gonna be an interesting one again because it costs 70 quid to get the starter pack and then I have to do a training day and all the rest but if so and ooh, that's my pasta if anybody knows uh, what I have to do anything else or is in the motoring agency motorsport agency MSA I think it's called um, in the UK please write a comment or if you've gone through it whatever Show your support, everything else. Excuse me, I'm just testing my pasta. And yeah, that feels done. Yeah, that works. Right. Um, oh crap, it's going to carry on cooking. Right. Um, yeah, so let me know. And also, here in Sicily, I'm planning on getting A, my own car, or B, converting my mum's old one, making it road legal, roadworthy, everything else, and using that. But it's going to be interesting because it's actually almost a 25 year old car. Sorry, I got a bit of pasta stuck in my teeth. Hmm. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. See how that's done. I might have to put an LPG gas converter thing um, and all the rest. So, yeah. If anybody knows anything about motorsports and anything else, please drop a comment, subscribe, like the video, favorite it, do whatever you want. Um, check out the blog, follow me on Twitter. Uh, Waning Moon underscore TR is the username or my personal one e yeah I'll let you know anyway F at 
Phoenix Willow, capital P, capital W, Willow spelt with a Y. Um, yeah, I'll probably link to it down here and all the rest. So I'll start, I shall see you in the next blog. And oh my God, it's ten past two. Wow. All right. Bye. Got to get in my pasta. Bye. All right. So I've had lunch. And that was non malicious. Does that word even exist? Non malicious? Um, yeah, find out. UrbanDictionary.com that later. Um, yeah, that's what's left of it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 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 Right. Ooh. That bacon was rather salty. Um, I finished off the remnants of some Italian lager. Ugh. Ugh. I prefer real ale. I'm a camera member. Um, what I need now is either some chocolate or some coffee or both. Let's do both. Uh, I has coffee already made and some chocolate. Do I have chocolate? Yeah, chucky, 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 chucky. Yeah, chucky, chucky. Ah, oh, it's a mini Easter egg of dark chocolate from last year. Ah, oh, Easter chocolate bunny. Um, do you actually know where the bunny is from? Oh yeah, of course I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bunny, the white bunny, is a symbol of fertility in pagan cultures. Um, and many others, actually. And, yeah, it's an alternative symbol to the egg. Which, well, is a symbol of fertility in its own right. Which represented how Ishtar was sent back to Earth and born again after he was killed by a boar, I think, or a bull or something. Now you see the similarity with paganism, huh? God, so many things have been borrowed from paganism into Christianity, it's unbelievable. You wouldn't think so, would you? But yeah, they are. Um, oh yeah, I was supposed to get chocolate. Uh, right, fine. Coffee first. Coffee cup. Coffee. Lots of coffee. This coffee I made today is uber strong. I pressed it a bit too much in the thing in the mocha pot and it's come out really strong um, also while I'm here talking about coffee does anybody know how to use one of these? it's a really old coffee machine and it makes espresso coffee and it has the steamer and everything else on it but I can't make it work it seems to overheat and that was not anywhere near 20 seconds no stupid thing stupid thing thank you ding <laughs> um, right chocolate 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 ding ooh we have mars what the hell we're sneaking the chocolate, chocolate and not here. Nobody's gonna see it. Ooh, ginger chocolate. Um, I'm just gonna. Oh, it's milk chocolate. Oh, I want dark chocolate. I'm kind of disappointed. <sighs> Drop the cho. Ooh, it's open. Why is it open? Why are you open? I'm not sure. Ooh, I'll just prop you up 
you have to stay. Um, ooh. Right. Open this up somehow. Freaking foil. Oh, what? Whoops. I ripped the foil badly. Look at that. Nice couple of slabs. Three. Oh, there's another bit broken now. Oh, I'm not going to need that, don't I? Coffee steaming away just nicely. Normal on a bit of chocolate. Mmm. Sorry, numbing my face off here. Milk chocolate isn't really my favourite. Um, but yeah, I has milk chocolate, I has coffee, which is steaming away nicely, and that's it. So yeah, as I said before, if you have any idea about what the procedure is from the racing license and what I really need sort of a minor racing tournament single seater um, but it's like 70 or 80 miles an hour limits um, it's sort of a stage up from go-karting but not quite full on Formula 3 racing um, so yeah, if you have any idea what I'm supposed to do, if it's worth it, everything else, um, how much the license costs at the end of it, no use getting a starter pack if I, if the driving license is far too expensive for my budget. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So I shall see you in vlog 8. Bye.